Okay, welcome to day seven. So today we're going to learn how to calculate between two dates on our sheet. We need this because we're going to be using it later to be able to have this section at the top of our status where it says what's due today, what's due this week, and it also helps us to colour coordinate in our conditional formatting. Okay, so in our sheet, you can see on this sheet, I've actually got an extra column called H um, that you won't see in the final sheet, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. So we're going to use our if statement today. And because we're using if statements against values, we're going to use if, and then we're going to use something called count. So once again, I do not want anything in H if I haven't got anything in G. So we're going to say for this one, if our count in G is zero, then we're going to have blank boxes in H. So we quite simply type if, because it's our if statement rule, we type in our count, we're going to count G at the moment, um, close the brackets of the count, and if that equals zero, if the count in that box is zero, then we our rule is going to be that it's blank. So we do our quotation marks with nothing in the middle. That means that that's going to be what comes up in our H. Because we're doing a nested if statement, we're then going to put a comma afterwards. And this time we're now going to use something called due today. And you can see that this is counting between two dates. So we're going to put a value in and it's going to count it as days. It's going to convert it to number of days. So for this one, we are going to minus our today's date. So what we're going to do is just click on where we've got today's date because that automatically updates every day. So we're going to click on this cell and then we're going to minus from that the deadline day. So we're going to minus where our deadline day is. So as soon as we've got that in there, we will now have a calculation that will cal calculate that in our number of days. I'm going to preserve the column for um, our first one and preserve our rows and columns for the second one. That will just allow us to auto fill that. So once we've got that, what we will then see, oh, don't forget to close your brackets, nearly forgot to close the brackets there. Just make sure at the end you've closed all the brackets. I had the Jura Today one still open there. So you can see I'd close the count bracket, but I still had if and Jura Today one. So I needed to at the end. Okay, so you can now see that the days left has been converted to a number uh, value. So we know that between the 6th of the 4th and the 12th of the 4th, there are six days. Don't get confused with the minus six days. That's not too much of a worry for now. It just tells us that there are um, six, we're six days away from that. If you've got a positive number, that means we've gone past it. Um, and you'll notice again, that if there is nothing in the G column, we're gonna have nothing in our H column. So that helps us out as well. So what we can see um, is that we've got these numbers now and we can use those to get our status a bit later. Um, and what we can also see is that if I change something to example um, to today's date, then it will give us a zero. Um, so that's where we're going from. So what we can do is start to use this later on in our spreadsheet to give us lots of data um, and allow us to see things uh, colour coordinated. As you can see in my deadline box here, I've colour coordinated based on the date, but I'll also be able to have a status based on this. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.